Meanwhile, today, President Obama did sign that big spending and tax bill, the biggest in history, to try to steer us out of this economic crisis. But I want to know right now who's responsible for getting in this mess. It's getting time to find out the problem. Time magazine put together a list, including the usual suspects at the top. They're prime suspects, I should say. Let's take a look at the top of the list right now. The chief executive of, Ange of uh, Countrywide, Angelo Mazzola. By the way, have joining us right now, we've got... Kristen Freeland, Kristen Freeland of the Financial Times, and we've got David Faber, who's with MSNBC, with NBC, Squawk Box, CNBC Squawk Box. Let's go to these names here. Uh, Angelo Mazzolo, David, this yeah. guy's head of Countrywide. What did he do wrong? Uh, Mazzolo, Butcher's son, you know, started in the business when he was 14, I think, Chris. What did he do wrong? Well, they were one of the largest providers of subprime uh, loans in the country for quite some time. Listen, he built an incredible business, but ultimately they were part of the machine that was giving people mortgages that ultimately those people could not pay back and that there may have been quite a few mortgages given to people who couldn't pay them back when they knew very well they weren't going to pay them back. Why would you do that? Well, Countrywide was able to securitize those mortgages, put them in a pool, and sell them almost immediately to investors around the world. That was the chain uh, that ultimately allowed there to be an enormous amount of credit so put they out used, there uh, to people so who couldn't Countrywide pay it back. Used, Countrywide used the access to easy loan money to, to basically seduce people into buying houses they couldn't afford, right? Yeah, I mean, listen, well, nobody cried when they cashed the check, right? And by the way, an important point, a lot of subprime, in fact, more than half of it was for cash-out refinancings. It wasn't for minorities or people who were poor. It was cash-out refinancings for my home because I want to put in a pool to redo my kitchen. Okay, let's go. Let's let, go. Your thoughts, Christian. I was going to say, I think David made a really important point about countrywide that it wasn't countrywide alone. It was part of this system of disintermediation where the banks, as they did historically, no longer held the okay, mortgage. Okay, so we've heard this story. This is an old story now. People got loans they couldn't afford. The houses are now basically facing foreclosure because the house is not worth anything anywhere near the amount of money they borrowed to buy it. They don't have the money to buy it. They're never going to be able to deal with this and situation. And the banks no longer had a direct financial incentive to care whether you're going to pay your mortgage could, back because they, they sold it to they somebody sold else. It to somebody else did, so they sent, sold the